and welcome to WiseLink Academy. For today, um, we'll be trying to draw um, an isometric sample, as you can see at the left hand side, or perhaps the right hand side of the screen. The question says, draw the isometric projection of that figure. So we said, our first task, whenever you are asked to draw anything under isometric reduction your first task is to draw your isometric asics so by isometric asics we mean something of this nature let me start from here isometric asics right you draw an horizontal line in this sense right such that i'll take my t square at a point and i'll draw a vertical line this way this is what we mean by isometric asics, right? Then I'll take this set square in this sense, right? I'll have this. Next up, I'll take this one down this way. All right, I will take this one down this way. All right. All right, from here, I will take this one down this way. Right? So this is what we mean by isometric asics. Right? So what's my next task? I haven't drawn my inclined that's a degree, right, with a vertical line this way. My next task is to measure out the breadth, um, breadth, length, and height. So my entire breadth there is going to be 70. Yes, my entire length, sorry. Length is going to be 70. So from year to year is 70, right, 70. My entire breadth is going to be 40. So measure 40. From year to year is 40. Alright. So I will measure my 40. My next tax here is to measure my entire height. My entire height there is 30. So I'll take my entire height as 30. 30. Right? So I've gotten my length, breadth, and height. So with this um concept, or perhaps with this length, breadth, and height, I've achieved. My next task there is to take each point upward, right? I'll take each point upward. In this sense, I'll take this one. Sorry. I'll take each point upward. I'll take this one upward. Right, I'll come to this point here. I'll take this one upward. Right, so I'll use my T square, set square in this sense, connect this one to this line here. Right, next tax, I'll take this one this way, connect this one to this part here, and finally, I will close it up. All right. And next up, I'll take this part here too and close it up. So where it meets is at this point here, right? So uh, what I can see here, I can see um, a box, right? All right, this is where I can infer. This is what this is a fig. This is a box at which the figure is being got from. So observe something, please. From here to somewhere here is fifty, and it's ticking. Start with that, fifty, and ticking. I'm done with this. This is fifty and ticking. All right, we have to tick in it because it is ticking from the question. All right. 
clicking it right i'm done with this next up uh my entire heart is 30 which is obviously 30 here yeah? i'll take in it i'm done with this next up um i'm giving it um a distance of 20 here yeah? so measure 20 from this point 20 which is from here to here 20 right obviously next tax is that um there is a distance downwards here yeah? which i'll use my t square to take this edge point down and measure 10 right from here to here is 10 as you can see and i just 10 obviously um obviously i will come to this edge here <coughs> i'll come to this edge here and measure 20 upward so from here to here 20 and it's taking taking it this 20 of course there's a distance of 10 here measure 10 right measure 10 in this way next up um i will simply um extend this one this edge faint line inward inward such that i will measure out that same 10 i did or perhaps i can just take my t square and connect it faint line upward right and then close this part up so i have this so what my next tax here obviously my next tax here is to um take this edge point here in similarly this edge point here in right similarly this last one too in in this sense such that observe please such that i will take this one here in to touch the faint line i just did here the thick line right so i'll then take this one i'll take this part here All right, from here, I will um, take in this part, right? As you can see, um, next up, I'll take this guy here upward to touch this one here. Finally, I cannot close that part up, right? Close this part up this way. So, my next task now is that I haven't gotten this, I'll take this part here line upward such that i will extend this part i mean this part here to touch the faint line i drew then i'll close this part up close this part up all right so here yeah, from here i can simply connect this um pen i did here with this one here all right connect these two together in this sense all right so i have this of course my next tax here is to sim simply extend it this one here out to the um the edge of the box and this one here to the edge of the box then i'll close it up this way so i have this um uh, my next tax here now is that if you observe closely um i will simply extend this one here with the faint line first next up take this to touch the faint line downward this way similarly i cannot thicken it all right thicken it this way i have this so my final tax here is to connect this edge with this together so this is the isometric projection we are asked to produce right so if you found this video helpful do not forget to click on the subscription button and like share to your friends classmates and welcome to wise link academy